everyone and welcome back to my channel. You'll probably notice behind me I'm missing a few plush from my top shelf. That is because sadly I have sold some like I said I was going to and that did unfortunately include my hyenas, my adult Nala and my big scar. Um, it was an easy decision. The scar was an easier decision this time mainly because they've now bought out the new one. I'm unsure about him because he is a lot smaller than the one that I did have. So he's the one they brought out is the same size as the medium plush, and the one I had was like a massive large one. And um, but I just told myself if I was gonna want him again, I can now just buy a different version of him. So it was easier letting him go. Um, I've sold a few other plushes, but I'm also going to be listing some more this week. So that pile is going to get remarkably smaller very very soon. Um, this video, however, is not about my flashes for once, and it's actually about my upcoming Disney World trip. Now, you're probably all aware, if you watch my other videos, that I mention quite a lot that I am going to Disney World, and that is happening in September, so not that long now. Um, I obviously mention it a lot on my Instagram, so if you follow me on there, you've probably seen that I'm going, and I'm getting very, very excited. So, as of Thursday, um, just gone, I had, have officially paid it off. So that is it, it's all paid, it's all done, and we are set to go. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about my upcoming trip, um, and just some details about it really, because a few people have asked. So I'm going in September, like I just said, with my boyfriend Elliot, um, and we're going for two weeks. Um, I have, I've only been to Florida once, and that was ten years ago exactly this year. Um, Elliot has been once before as well, but his was 12 years ago, and um, so it's it's very very different now to when we used to when we've been. And um, when I did go before, I didn't buy as much stuff as I would nowadays because obviously I was a child and I didn't have my own money. My papers are flying everywhere. My fan is on, so it's sort of blowing all my papers about. But when I did go, I actually dug this out just before filming this video. I found this, and it's this pack that I bought when I went um, in 2007. So it's sort of this binder, and it says Disney Dreams Book. Um, I don't know why I bought this when I was a kid. I think it was just like on a whim. But inside it, I found um, various items from when I went. So when I went before, I obviously picked up all the original maps that were around when um, I went before. So Epcot, I don't know what that is, Disney's Wild About Safety to Own and Pumbers thing. I don't know why I've got that. Um, Disney used to be called Dig Disney MGM Studios when I went, so that's how long ago. Um, the Magic Kingdom one, obviously and Downtown Disney, which obviously isn't called that anymore, it's called Disney Springs. So this map is interesting because it looks nothing like the current maps look like. So I'm, I'm quite chuffed that I found these again. I actually forgot I had all of these to be honest. When we went before we also went to SeaWorld. Um, so I bought all the SeaWorld stuff in it including the original SeaWorld tickets that we had as um, a family. Um, I won't be doing SeaWorld this year, um, mainly because me and my boyfriend just don't agree with it anymore. Um, I won't go into details, but um, after the, what came to light after the Blackfish program, we just won't touch SeaWorld. So I won't be going, but I have got all the memories of when I did go originally. So I've got them along with these like mini postcards that I picked up when I went to SeaWorld, um, and they're just like various images of the animals there, so despite the fact I don't agree with SeaWorld anymore, I'm not going to get rid of these because obviously I did go and do it, um, and it is just memories, so I've still got that. Um, also in there was these Walt Disney postcards that I completely forgot I had, because they did buy these 10 years ago and I thought they just went missing, um, so they're quite nice actually, so some of these, I don't think some of these came in this pack, I think I put them in there for safekeeping such as like this one which is like wishes the wishes the only time I saw wishes and I can't see it anymore it was ten years ago so I have fond memories of wishes I also bought the wishes um CD so I've got the CD um of the wishes theme track so I've still got that 
Um, that's another wishes postcard. The ones that did come in here, I won't show you all of them because it's quite a lot, but they're sort of black and white images of the park and then superimposed on top are the cartoon characters. For instance, that one's the Haunted Mansion. Um, like Cinderella's Castle with Cinderella and Prince Charming on it. Um, what does that say? My glass slippers always fit. These are really pretty. So now I've dug these out, I mean, there's quite a lot in here. There's sort of various different ones. But now I've got these... I might actually consider framing some, I just completely forgot I had these, so, and they're very very nice, so I'm going to frame them I think, so I've dug that out, this is what is actually in this thing, and it's a planner, which I didn't, I don't know why I didn't use it, I don't know why I bought it as a child, um, but I've, I look like I've stuck in like images that I've picked up, they must be postcards again I assume, from um, around the park when I went before, um, and there's various pages of this. Um, there's like a note section which obviously I've never used but thinking about it I could probably use it for like my planning this year and um, I also kept this which back when I went you didn't get magic bands I've just realised the light's funny I'm sorry again I'm filming quite late and it's reflecting in my room um, but yeah when I went you didn't get magic bands or anything like you got paper tickets well, they might have been cards. I think they were cards. They're probably in this somewhere. But they came in this, so when you turned up at your resort, you were given this with your cards in. And I kept it. I was a weird child. I kept everything, but I'm glad I have now, because me being the collector I am, I'm glad. So I kept that. I also randomly kept, I've just put it in there, a napkin. So I've got a whole Disney World napkin from somewhere. So that is in here. So there's like pockets to put things in, um, there's a page with autograph stickers on it, which I never used because strangely enough when I went 10 years ago I didn't actually meet any characters. I feel like I really wasted my Disney World experience when I went. I wasn't that, I think I was going through my um, stage where I liked Disney but I didn't want to admit to anyone because I felt it was really childish and people would laugh at me. So yeah, I never touched any of them very few pressed coins that I got in there like 10 years ago so there is the big silver one is from where I stayed in Caribbean Beach um oh god I can't even see what they are they're so old one is Mickey there's a new diamond stitch twice but doing different poses by the looks of it and then it looks like there's Jafar from um, Aladdin so I'm not sure how well you can see them on there but that, that's the ones that I got Oh, I do have them, so I actually kept the cards that you used to get when we went, and that is, this is quite interesting actually, because of how much it's changed. It's so old, it's like melted onto the plastic. Okay, so you used to get these instead of, um, like, your magic bands, so you used to have to carry these around, and for instance, it would say your name on it and then it says Disney dining because we were on the dining plan and despite me being a child at the time I was classified as an adult so it says adult on it yeah so everyone got issued them and then if you stayed on site you obviously qualified for magic hours like you do now but you had to wear um, these you had to get go and prove that you were staying on site with your card and then you would get issued a orange wristband See, I literally kept everything. I kept a magic hours wristband that has been cut off. Um, there's a spider on my wall, I've just seen it. It's bugging me. Um, yeah, so I've kept that. I also found that I didn't realise I had. When I said I've, I've got no pins and that I've never pin collected in my life, I opened this bag and there's two pins in here that I got from Disney World. Didn't know I had them. So one came with this, I believe, and it's this super sparkly, like, Disney one, it's got all the characters on it and I've also got this Boo Bear one which I don't know where it's come from I assume I bought it when I was in the parks but yeah, so I've got two pins I didn't know about on this like um bit of fabric at the back for pins and then me being the absolute weird child that I was have kept various things from ten years ago including there are some Random quarters. So I kept um, random change in here. Planet Hollywood stick from a burger, probably. So I've got that in there. 
tons and tons of Disney stickers. Like, I don't know where we got issued these, but I've got so many stickers. There's a Hulk one behind there, so ignore that. And then the weirdest thing that I found in here, and it's actually, I don't know if it's disgusting or not, is a bottle of the shampoo and conditioner from the Disney World Resorts. Um, never been used, there's still liquid in there. And the most disgusting thing I think about this is um, one of the bath soaps from Disney. It's obviously got um, Mickey Mouse in the back. The thing is that this disturbed me most about this, it's unused, but it's 10 years old. I don't know how I feel about this. Why have I got a 10 year old bar of soap in my wardrobe? I didn't even know it was there until I opened it, so that's quite disgusting. But at the same time, I, I want to keep it because it's... I mean, it's 10 years old now. That's pretty, pretty good going. So yeah, I found that randomly just before I was going to film this video, which was very, very convenient. So I thought I'd show you that. So basically, that's how it used to run. So you used to get a card and you'd have to get a band if you were saying extra magic hours. So obviously, having not been for 10 years, everything is now completely different. So when we went, you could just sort of wake up, decide where you wanted to go for the day, and then go to the park, and then you'd sort of decide what ride you want to do, go to the ride, pop your card in, and get a paper pass, and um, fast pass for that ride. And when I started looking at it, at it, I just thought this is completely, completely different to what I'm used to. So we sort of booked this trip on a whim a year ago. So Elliot has, was, has basically been saying for me, to me for the years that he was going to take me to Disneyland for one of my birthdays. Because um, I've never been to Disneyland. But then when we looked into it and pressed it up, it's quite expensive to do like a few days there. So when we said, we thought about it, we thought, oh, we might as well um, just save for Disney World. Like, we can just do it all out and we'll do Disney World properly. And our aim was, we said, okay, if we can be sensible about this, we can do it for our 25th birthdays. And um, we would have been together for 10 years. We can do this massive, massive Disney World trip. So that was the plan until last September when I was having a nose on my lunch break at work and I found an offer for Disney World for, for this year now and um, I told him about it and I think he was in a bit of shock because obviously it wasn't, wasn't planned but when I worked out we sort of could budget for this trip and save every month and get paid off and um, he was up for it. I said we could book, go for September and he was up for it provided I knew all the details so I ordered these massive, massive textbooks. I've got hair on my book. Yuck. So one of these massive books was The Unofficial Guide to Disney World 2017 and I also got the 2017 Orlando in Disney World book. Um, the reason I got both is because obviously I want to do Disney World but Elliot wants to do like the rest of Florida so I had to get both. The original plan was we were going to get a hotel on International Drive to keep the money down um, because we are doing Universal as well because Elliot is not a massive Disney geek like I am and he wants to do Universal. So the deal was we're doing both. Um, so that was the plan. If we stayed on International Drive we'd be in the middle of the two of them. Um, but me, having a nose from the internet, decided, oh wait, we could stay on property on Disney and it wouldn't actually be too bad. So I got an offer on Disney and we are now staying in Disney World. Um, once I decided we were staying on Disney World, I then went through Disney and ordered the, um, I don't know what this is called, like you could order um, trip books, one of which being the Little Big Book of Magic, which is literally just like information about the resorts and the parks, maps of them all, it's quite a little handy book. so. Like, these will probably come with us because all the maps come out and they're just like really handy little maps. Yeah, so I got this and then we decided, okay, we're going to stay on, on site. So we're staying on Dis Disney's Caribbean Beach for two weeks and we are on the quick service dining plan. And there is a reason for that. Um, I was going to upgrade, but I will come on to that later. So we are staying there. Um, however, in, so we booked that in September and in January I got an email from this site that I'd signed up to called Touring Plans um, and they basically said, did you know your hotel is now going to be under refurbishment whilst you're there? 
So I went into panic mode and was thinking, Disney hasn't told me this. And then lo and behold, the next day I got an email from Disney because I booked through them saying, we're refurbing Caribbean Beach whilst you're there. And I was panicking. I was thinking, this is like the dream holiday. We're spending so much money. And now they've decided they're going to rip up half the resort. Um, but they said, because we're ruining your experience, basically, we are now offering you $25 per night gift card per room. So it wasn't tons of money considering they were going to sort of be destroying half of the resort. Um, but the more I thought about it, I thought, well, if they're tearing down half the resort, it's a fairly big resort. Um, it's going to be a bit quieter than usual. Um, I stayed there obviously 10 years ago on my last trip and it's huge and there was a lot of people there so I thought I mean there'll be less people there and then and they've promised to keep the work between um, I think it's 9 and 5 o'clock when you're probably going to be in the parks anyway and at the end of the day I said we're probably going to be in the parks more than we are in the hotel it's just somewhere to sleep so I wasn't that bothered about it um, and then two weeks later Disney actually emailed me back and so they've raised it so we're now getting a $75 per night per room gift card and um, which is amazing so I was quite happy to put up with the building work once I'd registered it and I knew they were going to refund us a small amount of money but now we are getting I think it works out over a thousand dollars on a gift card so it's perfect because obviously we're on the quick service dining plan we were going to pay you out of pocket for our meals in the evening and now we don't have to so it covers most of that it's going to be absolutely amazing. So I'm. They are refurbing. I'm a little bit worried that it's going to be a bit noisy, but at the end of the day, like I said, it is mainly for sleeping that place. All our meals aren't on the property, so it should be okay. Like I said, we're staying on Disney World, but we are doing Universal as well. That is because my boyfriend does like Disney, but he's not obsessed, and he prefers the big rides and obviously Disney hasn't got that many big big rides so we are going down to Universal and we've got a two week flexi pass for Universal too and um, now we're actually staying one night on site there even though we've got two weeks booked there we're going to actually pack up a few things in a rucksack one of the nights and travel down to Universal stay the night there and then come back to Disney and the reason for that being Universal fast passes work in a different way and you can pay for like an ultimate like days fast pass but they're very very expensive however if you stay on site on Universal the day you check in along with the day you check out you get the unlimited fast passes for free so it works out better value to stay down there for a night so we're spending a night there on our first week doing two days in Universal coming back to Disney and spend the rest of the time there and the second week we're going to travel back to Universal but not stay and just do the rides that we like um, and that keeps Elliot happy because he gets his big rides and I like big rides too so I'm quite happy to experience it and I love love Harry Potter so I'm excited for Harry Potter World um, so I had to do research on that too we are staying in the Hard Rock Hotel for a night which is one of the closest ones to Universal it's like walking distance from I think it's this the Islands of Adventure Park. I might that might be wrong. I don't know what one it's closest to, but it's right near the entrance. Um, and we're actually really uh, actually yesterday my tickets for Universal turned up. So I bought them on attraction tickets direct and they come in this um like fabric pouch which is really handy so you don't lose anything. And they sent us lots of like vouchers for the malls and outlets. Our multi-day tickets are in this top part, there's two of them in there and then they also sent us this Dying for Less card which I'm not sure what it works on yet, I need to look it up but yeah they came in this handy little wallet and they also sent us um, this little tips and tricks book for Orlando um, which I haven't let, like yet looked through but it's got all like Disney and Universal and all the others in there like Bush Gardens and stuff so I'm going to have a flick through that so they're quite handy and they send you actual tickets rather than e-vouchers like some um, some ticket sites so I'm really excited now they've come through feeling a bit more real now so obviously like I said where Disney World has changed so so much since we last went 
um, we have had to do so much planning. When I say we, I mean me. So I'm the planner out of the two of us and I've planned everything down to a T because I want everything to go as smoothly as possible. The only additional problem that we have, um, as opposed to some other people might not, is the fact that um, Elliot is vegan so we are quite limited on, well we're not limited, basically we have to be careful where we book. Um, it's not so much of a problem in that I'm not a huge, huge meat eater anyway, so when I'm with him I do tend to eat vegan myself, um, only because of ease, but I don't really eat meat other than chicken, so I only eat chicken and even then like, I don't eat a lot of it. Um, I don't really drink milk, I drink the non-dairy milk and it's my only downfall is really cheese. So we, it's like steakhouses would never ever be an option for us anyway because I just wouldn't eat it. Um, but it does mean that I had to sit down for a very long time and like research what restaurants would be best for um, vegan food. Disney World is actually really really good for um, vegan food that I found out like after loads of my research. Um, I've joined various Facebook groups, I think it's called like um, Veg Disney, that's really good so people put up their experiences of what they eat as like vegans out there. There's a site called um, VeganDisneyWorld.com that basically is given like a spreadsheet of everything in Disney that's vegan such as like the Mickey pretzels are vegan, the do vegan ice cream, the popcorn's all vegan. Um, there's actually so much out there that is just vegan already or like as they were called accidentally vegan. Um, so yeah, I've done so much research, I've actually narrowed it down. There were so many restaurants that had vegan options that I wrote them all out and then I chose on there ones I would like to eat at as well. So there are certain meals I am going to eat vegan with him um, and there's some that I, I, I won't but I know that he can still eat there. So I've done a lot of planning when it comes to that and I'm actually thinking that I might document some of the vegan food while we're there because I know a lot of my um, Instagram followers and my friends on there are actually vegan themselves so it might actually be helpful to know that there is a lot of vegan food out there and what you can potentially eat I mean some of it looks so good so I'm potentially going to do that so when it came to planning I obviously had my books that I bought and I was on all the Disney forums and um, also this one called The Dip which is like an English um, or like the British version of there's one, there's an American one and I can't remember the name of it, I've ended up on that as well but basically it's all um, British people on there talking and discussing about Disney World um, tips, tricks, accommodation restaurants, it's really really helpful um, so I've done a lot of that, they also launch a lot of um, like changes to park hours and stuff and um, so I used that one I also used um, this website called Touring Plans that I've mentioned before because that's really really good so you have to pay for that but it's something like $12 for a year so, and I have used that for Disney and Universal so that's really good like it tells you all the like best parks to visit and what time and like the how busy it's expected to be on a certain day so you can plan it around that and that is how I planned it and so I basically planned my days around the park expected busy levels and the magic hours that are up at the moment they are subject to change but what is going on at the moment I've planned it around that I have actually on the dip that I mentioned they have this option to make a planner so basically I planned it all around and back in March six months before you go you have to book all your dining in. That's why I had to be so organised with knowing who does vegan food. And we booked them all, booked them in March, and then I've inputted all the information onto the planner on the div. And then they make this printout version, and it tells you, like, when you input what parks you're going to, it tells you, like, the schedule for that day, so, like, down here, and what's going on in the park. You can list your dining reservations, the dining reservation numbers, um, you can actually put your fast pass in here, but as is going to be booking on Tuesday. So at the moment, I've listed down the side the fast passes that I want to book, and they will be booked on Tuesday, which I'm super excited about. It's coming around so quick, and so yeah, this is a very long plan, and we've got very busy days, but it's all on there. 
We're undecided currently whether we will be doing the Disney water parks because we did do them when we went before. I don't think a lot has changed there really. I'm not a massive fan of water parks anyway. I think if we do do one, it's going to be the new um, Universal Volcano Bay one because that looks interesting. So yeah, if we do a water park, that'll be the one we do. Um, because we've booked through Disney, to get from the airport we are boarding the Disney Magical Express which is the bus that runs for free between the Orlando Airport and your Disney World Resort so we are booked on that. I booked that um, earlier this week as well so that is all done. And um, We obviously need a lot of spending money because you all know how much of a Disney nerd I am and I will want to buy a hell of a lot of things. So. I want a good amount of spending money and that does mean that I'm trying to be really good with my spending this month so my upcoming Disney haul, well my next Disney haul might not be that big because I do want to buy a lot in America because I know I'm going to buy a lot in America I've actually paid for extra baggage um, so I know I can get it back and I've also upgraded my boyfriend's and um, even though I know he won't use it, I'm just going to fill his bag with my stuff too, so. I mean, I will go more into depth with my plans once everything's set in stone. I have to book my fast passes still, so that's uncertain. And I don't want to go through all the restaurants I'm eating at currently, because it's a very long list. So I might do a more detailed video on it later on. Um, it depends if you'd want to see it. I don't know how well that'll go down. Um, just let me know. And potentially, if you want to know what sort of vegan food that we're planning on eating, like what vegan options I know are available. Um, I'm currently undecided whether I'm going to vlog out there. That is because I'm not 100% comfortable with vlogging in public currently, but also the fact that, because it's been so long since we went, I'm not entirely sure I want to spend my entire holiday for a camera, if that makes sense. Um, I sort of want to be able to experience it. I feel like if I went again, or to Disney Paris, I might vlog them because it's not as special but this is quite a special trip to us so I'm undecided yet and I've got to make that decision but yeah I'm not I have been asked but I'm not I'm not sure myself yet so yeah that's all we've done at the moment now I have got a very very um, exciting announcement to make so on Instagram last week I think it was I hit um, 5,000 followers which is amazing I'm absolutely shocked I never ever thought I'd get to that point on my Instagram so I'm amazed and I had been wanting to launch a 5k giveaway to say thank you and um, I actually missed the 5k because I was waiting for some deliveries and I think I'm now at like 5.1 or something like that but it's close enough to 5 so I can still launch it um, um, I've spoken to some amazing small businesses, as you all know I'm addicted to small businesses, I love supporting them and they have very very kindly agreed to team up with me for this giveaway and I've got some amazing amazing items that you can potentially win so I'm going to show you them and then tell you how you can go about entering if you're interested okay so one of the small businesses that has got involved is of course um, the company that I am a brand rep for and that is Tangled Little Beauty and she has very very kindly sent in three plaques so there is this Rapunzel um, plaque it's very very pretty and glittery and it says just like Rapunzel always up for adventure there is the Fox and the Hound plaque which is mega cute and it's one of my favourites and then I feel like she's sent these because they are my favourite characters <laughs> and it is a Sleeping Beauty plaque so there's Aurora at the top, mega glittery and the three fairies and this one's really cute because it's sort of a two plaque one that hangs I received this framed um, print of Tinkerbell in this really cute um, photo frame with all beads around the edge like pearls and this is courtesy of Happily Ever After box that I've received a couple of boxes from and I've got a couple of these pictures and I love them they're so cute so there's that there is this amazing amazing painting by from Disney by Annika she's an amazing amazing artist and I'm shocked she got involved with this giveaway but she has painted this amazing silhouette of the Lion King and it's even more amazing in the fact that it lights up so I don't know how well you can see that because the sun is on it but um yeah it lights up the sun lights up so I don't want my face in that because two plaques from Heart of Eftico one is this big Cinderella plaque with the Cinderella writing on it and a smaller one 
So House of Hartman have sent in a choker. It's actually Rapunzel um, Tangle theme because it is a saucepan. So there is a saucepan choker along with matching earrings. I don't want to get these out because obviously um, they are earrings. I don't want to touch them. But um, yeah, matching saucepan earrings. This Sleeping Beauty plaque from Enchanted Tiki Designs, which is really cute. These are from One For All Crafts, who makes this. This is an amazing little, um, I assume it's Pinocchio inspired, and um, it's upside down. Clip, it's like a bow and it clips, it's got a clip on the back. And then this really cute um, Mrs. Potts and Chip keyring that she's made, which is stunning. These prints from Galaxy and Beyond, which she makes stunning, stunning prints. These, the ones you can win on this giveaway are Ariel and Melody and a big portrait of Belle. And they're really pretty because they've got like um, the galaxy print behind them. Um, this company is called Piece of Pie and I'm shocked how many. Um, she's very, very generous. So she makes these really cute bows that have got clips on so you could use them in your hair, you could clip them to clothing. They're very versatile but she has sent um, in a lot so you could win the bell one and um, this holographic pink one which is super cute a moana inspired one a glittery purple one and a corella de Ville dimension inspired one which is like my favorite one so yeah there are five bows this is conjuring curiosity and she has sent in a Tangled inspired um, plaque, which is, I love this, along with these pins. So they are the oysters from um, Alice in Wonderland. One is the classic painted one, and one is the silver one. These are really cute, I love these. This amazing, amazing marshmallow bow. The, team, this is, the company is called Marshmallow Bows. And you can win this super super amazing I love it because it's Marie Marie inspired marshmallow bow it's massive and it's so cute and this would look amazing around Disney World could you imagine or Disneyland it's basically Disney this is so cool so you can also win um, a personally designed phone case from ha mermaid handmade treasures and um, I think I said that right it's a bit of a tongue twister but um, she will make you a personalized phone case if you win um, you'll just need to contact her and send her the details of your phone because obviously you can't make it until she knows what phone you've got and she can make you a Disney inspired phone case however you like um, this is an example so this is one she's just made me that I'm waiting to receive um, I'm hoping it shows up it's really really cute I mean my phone's a bit dull at the moment is that any better? yeah so she's made me this Marie inspired one um, they're amazing, they're really really pretty. Miss Golden Week that has painted me several paintings before has very very kindly donated this stunning original painting of Marie. It's just beautiful. Along with her newly launched, I don't want to get them out because they're just nicely sealed, but um, her Pegasus stickers they are mega mega cute, like baby Pegasus and they are very, like various different colours in this. There's a pink one, a yellow one, a blue one um, it looks like the black one from Fantasia and I think there's an orange one in there. There's quite a lot in there. But they're really cute. So yeah, you could win all of these and they are all the amazing, amazing companies that have kindly agreed to participate in my giveaway. But obviously I couldn't uh, ask for these people to just kindly donate all of these things without giving away something myself. So you could win all of them along with these two items. So you can win a... Gus in the slipper pop vinyl, which I actually own one of these and it's one of my favourites. So this pop vinyl, and I'm also going to give away one of my um, chip purses, like from Primark, um, it's brand new and it's so cute. And I know a few people wanted this and still haven't been able to get it. So this is also going to be in my giveaway. So if you want to win all of them items, I'm going to make this giveaway very, very simple. So all you need to do is go to my Instagram, which I've linked below make sure you're following me second rule is you need to make sure you follow all the companies involved which I'm going to list in that giveaway in that Instagram giveaway post so make sure you follow all of them because I will check and then you need to comment 
and tag three friends that you think could be interested in that giveaway. And that is it, that is you entered. There will be, an, if you want a second entry, an additional entry, you can repost the image, but you have to make sure you tag me in it and use my hashtag that is in the post that I'm going to post on Instagram. For a third additional entry, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do that, make sure you let me know that you subscribed and, and let me know your YouTube name and then I can add that on so you can have three possible entries into this giveaway. So I'm super excited to launch it. So yeah, good luck if you enter. Now thank you for watching this video and I'm hoping it was interesting. Um, if you want to hear anything further about my holiday or my upcoming de like details of my upcoming holiday, please let me know. Um, as always, I really appreciate your support. If you have any ideas for future videos, make sure you comment below and let me know. And again, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week.